Hey, what's up, guys? Shackle King here. Before we get into the video for NCP Week 8, I'm going to quickly go over um, some free agent transactions I made. You can see Scizor on the screen, so I will be uh, trading Scizor, actually. Um, this season was all about trying different mons, and I wasn't the biggest fan of Scizor. Um, it's strong, but I'd rather my steel just be like more defensive or have more utility. Scissor is nice, it has U-turn defog and such. It's just not as bulky I'd like it to be as a steel type. 70, 180 is not really that bulky. Um, kind of unfortunate, and I needed Scizor to be pretty bulky on this team, especially having reliable recovery, and it just doesn't really have the stats to do so. It's a nice offensive um, on if you want it in that role, and I think it's better in that role, but I kind of was pushing it more into like a defensive role like a special defensive pivot generally, and it just wasn't really cutting it that well for me. Um, so yeah, Scissor's going to go um, as a result of this trade, and to make points and line up eventually, I'm also going to have to, uh, let me live, get rid of these mods. So I'm also going to have to get rid of Regigigas. I like the mod a lot, um, and it was fine in the game that I brought it, but I just needed the points to line up. I also don't face a lot of ghost types, um, for the rest of the season and i'm that worried about so not the biggest deal in the world i have not have regigigas unless i do face live in the playoffs that would be the one kind of unfortunate thing um but yeah so instead of scissor i traded it for um age of slash age of slash is cool um and Scizor probably fit better on Kurt's team. Lando plus Scizor, Raikou. That's a really nice U-turn combination there. So he's going to do well with Scizor, but uh, I really like Age of Slash. It's a really fun mon, and it can be a lot bulkier than Scizor is if I want it to be like a special defensive role. Like 70-80 is the uh, special defense compared to 60-140. Now Age of Slash doesn't have uh, Roost Reliable Recovery, so that's kind of unfortunate. It could run Rest, which is weird again with Finny, but... It's still pretty decent as like a bulky mon and can also hit pretty hard. Doesn't hit hard as Scizor with like uh, bullet punches with Technician, but Age of Slash still hits pretty hard and I like the ghost utility that Age of Slash provides. I do have three ghost types um, with Age of Slash plus Blacephalon plus Golurk. Um, and I might be making some more free agent transactions the week after, but I do like having triple ghost against uh, Dunsparce. So I don't think Dunsparce is coming to this game. Um, and to make the points line up, uh, we got Wigglytuff. Don't think it's really coming. It could come against the uh, Dragapult team, Live if I face her in playoffs. So yeah, let's get uh, right into this video. Hey, what's up guys? Shuckle King here, bringing you week seven for NTP, and we are facing off against 3D Arcade and Arkansas Pig Knights. Good and be an exciting game, both a game that we probably almost have to win. Uh, 3D Arcade's currently two and four, um, so if he wins that, he probably makes playoffs. Otherwise, it'll be not impossible, but pretty tough. I'm three and three right now, so I have a little bit more leeway. Uh, to lose games, but I really don't want to at this point anymore. Uh, if I could get the forward three, that makes me a lot more confident about the, uh, how the rest of the season will pan out. But yeah, we're both looking uh, to definitely get this win here. Uh, before we go further, make sure you guys consider giving a subscription to the channel. Definitely appreciate all the support everyone's been giving, and maybe comment about how you think this game went. Uh, so yeah, both in this playoff hunt, both trying to get this win, and he has a very scary team. He took over for Vepsis, who had to... Uh, Step down, unfortunately. I hope he's doing pretty well. But, yeah, he's, I think, number one in the power rankings when I made my video. So, yeah, definitely a very scary team that he has. Uh, and that consists of Nito King at the top of it. So, Nito King, just based on, like, the offensive nature of my team, and I don't really have a bulky, like, psychic type. I have Latios, which is my psychic type. Nito King, or, like, a bulky, like, normal type or something. Uh, just a general fat thing that sits there. Uh, Nido King's a big problem, and yeah, I have uh, Finny and Tangrowth that kind of do those things, but yeah, they're not going to be taking hits that well because uh, they're both weak to poison, and Nido King's probably the best offensive poison type there is, and he has two poison types, so that's annoying. But yeah, Nido King, I really don't have switch-ins to, so I probably have to take a more offensive approach to try to kill his team, honestly, but the problem with that is that Nido King can have Sucker Punch, and then... 
Like, that that can kill, just outright kill someone to my team, especially because I have three ghost types, uh, if you saw uh, with the recent uh, transactions that I made. So, yeah, definitely not the greatest position. Nido King is one of the hardest matchups for my team, honestly. Uh, Tornadoes T, definitely annoying, uh, more manageable, but kind of tough for me to take hits. Um, Aegislash is kind of nice in that role. Jolteon is also nice in that role. It was partially the reason why I got Jolteon was because it could take on a Tornadus. So might be able to bring that this game. Um, Hydreigon, also pretty annoying. Um, Finny can kind of sit on it. If it's like a belt set, then that's annoying, but I can, I'll 100% scout that out if that's the case. But otherwise Hydreigon um, is really nice against my team. Otherwise it adds speeds to Dorm if it's a scarf set or like a Dragon Tan set. Um, Scarf also adds speed Latios, unless I'm scarfed. Um, it really takes on plus F1 sets with really no issue. Um, so yeah, definitely uh, an annoyance. Um, don't really have great ways to revenge kill unless it's uh, from Scarf Latios or just General Latios and Hydra Dragon's not Scarfed. Um, or defensively, answer it. Registeel, um, definitely not as annoying as the top three. I think those top three are 100% coming and are going to be very annoying for my team. Registeel is just pretty fat, reliable. Takes on Darm well enough. Takes on Latios with really no issue. Uh, really, like, Blacephalon is a nice way to break it, other than that, and Pangoro. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit tough. Golurk, too. So I have offensive ways around it, but it's going to just be fat and sit in the field. Um, Arcanine is definitely a pretty solid answer, especially if it's Flash Fire to take on the uh, Blacephalon. I'd have to run Shadow Ball a lot. And Shadow Ball is pretty good against the team anyway. There is a Nunsparce, which... Could honestly come because I do have three ghost types. It's probably the least likely member, honestly, I think. Uh, if it comes, then I'm fine with it because I have ways from my ghost types to uh, kill. But yeah, uh, Arcanine's going to be annoying in that regard. If it's not Intimidate, though, then Darm, Golurk, what other physical threats I have? Pangoro uh, could just wreck. So there's like a give and take there. Um, Whimsicott? Whimsicott is annoying. That was another month. Like, I had a team built. And I knew I lost to Whimsicott. So, like, I had to re-scratch the team. Like, it has Shadow Ball, and it's fast. It outspeeds everything on my team outside of Jolty on it. So, um, Shadow Ball, like, an offensive Whimsicott can do pretty well this game, actually. It's, it's definitely annoying. So, I have to watch out for that. Galar Slowking, um, it's a great Finny answer. Not really sure how great it does otherwise, because I do have three Ghost types that can all pretty much close to kill it. Um, Mian Show could come. Um... Finny's a pretty good answer. Tangro's a, a great answer. Um, if it's like a life orb, Miancho over like Scarf, then I could see that being a little bit more of an issue. Again, I have three ghost types, so kind of tough for me to see Miancho coming. Um, and Miancho doesn't have to be like a Scarf plus Cephalon, so that also kind of seems suspect. Uh, Slowbro, again, I have three ghost types, so I don't know if Slowbro comes this game. Um, and I'll be able to definitely take advantage of it if it did come. Um, but it's a okay answer to Latios. Um, G Darm still does a lot with U-turn, especially if I'm abandoned, but it could take hits okay, I guess. Sableye, don't really see it coming. Finny basically shuts down anything it could do. Um, Dunsparce, it could come, but it's really, really weak. Um, even if it's like max special defensive, um, or physically defensive, my ghost can to a KO. So, with outside of coverage, obviously. So, approach to this game, definitely going to be very offensive. Um, and my ghost types, I feel like, match up pretty well in this game. So uh, that's, like, the general approach I have. So first we have a Blacephalon Choice Specs. So there's really not much that uh, can take this on. He does have, uh, I guess, like, AV Tang uh, Tornadus. Definitely doesn't take two hits. Um, maybe a Shadow Ball, but not Fire Blast or Overheat. Um, Hydreigon is, like, the one big issue for this. If it's, like, some bulk Hydreigon... Um, then I can't twit kill with Fire Blast. If it's like a enough speed to add speed, a Darmanitan, it's probably going to be Scarfed in that regard, so it doesn't matter. But Fire Blast to a KOs, which is kind of ridiculous. But if it has some bulk, then Fire Blast overheat Shadow Ball aren't going to two a KO, which is unfortunate. Um, partially why I have Hyper Beam, which can like do like 80 ish percent at least to a uh, Hydreigon. So if I'm like 100% sure that's coming in, and like my Finny's dead or something, and Hydreigon's really annoying, then I can go for a Hyper Beam if I really had to. Uh, definitely downsides of using it, but it's a way to nuke the Hydreigon, and Hydreigon's pretty good against my team. Um, yeah, Shadow Ball plus Fire Blast assist the team really hard. Um, Shadow Ball probably spamming a lot because of the Arcanine, um, in case it is Flash Fire. 
Um, so I do have to watch out for that. And Shadowball just hits the team pretty well overall. Again, minus the uh, Hydreigon. Um, defensive investment allows me to live a sucker pun from no attack invested neutral nature Nido King. If it's a uh, physical attacking, which I think it could be a physical based Nido King, that would wreck the team pretty hard if it was physical instead of special. But um, I do live one, even like it's a minus attack nature or neutral attack nature sucker punch from the Nido King. Um, and the speed, actually max speed adds speed to modest tornadus by one point. So I can also scout that if I find out it's doing a lot of damage or find out if it's very bulky, then I know it won't be able to, Blacephalon will be able to add speed and probably to a KO unless it's like special offensive AV or something, which seems unlikely in this game. Um, next Pokemon is uh, Deladios, which both have the same speed as the Blacephalon. This will also add speed on uh, Mianxiao, which is fine. Um, a lot of defense, a little bit of special attack and a lot of speed. Psyshock, Draco Meteor, Toxic Recover. Toxic hits like the, the Slowbro, Arcanine, because I imagine Arcanine's gonna be special defensive to take on the Blacephalon. Um, this defense investment allows me to live any hit from the Nido King. If it goes for Modest Ice Beam, I live the hit because of Berry, Modest Sludge Wave, I live it, no issues, uh, because my special defense is so high. Um, I live an Ice Punch uh, because of Yachi Berry. I wouldn't have lived it otherwise, even if I had like max HP. I would have to have gone to like max HP, max defense or something. And then it's definitely not as good because I don't have to beat uh, Hydreigon if it's not Scarf the Mian Show. So I think this spread is the best I can do to at least somewhat take a hit from the Nido King. Because I think I want at least one Mon that can take a hit. Um, I have another one, but we'll get there in a bit. Um, so yeah, the the spread of this, the purpose of it, it could be Ice Punch plus Sucker Punch um, Nido King, and that would wreck me. So I would almost all, I would always recover, I think, on a Nido King if I switch it in, because this is my switch into it. Um, scouting out the Sucker Punch. And then from there, I can either go for another recover, go for Psy Shock, switch out, really depending on the, the situation there. But I should live an Ice Punch or a Poison Jab, and then I go for a recover as the Nidoking goes for Sucker Punch. I recover extra 50% health. And then from there, I can live a Sucker Punch um, based on the HP that I would be at after a recover. So that's like the uh, whole spread there, essentially. And then the rest of the EVs that I didn't need in defense to like live that situation uh, just to do a little bit more damage. Uh, like Modest or like even not Modest, Life Orb, Latios just goes in in this game is the thing. But I really wanted something that could take on Nidoking. So kind of unfortunate and I'm hardwalled by the uh, Registeel, which is unfortunate, but I have Monteca taken on pretty well. Um, not this one though, but it can nuke it pretty well. And that's a uh, Choice Garf Darmanitan, pretty brainless in this game. Um, the speed, out speed, uh, max speed Nido Kings Garfed. Don't really see that coming, but there was no reason not to out speed it. And like going adamant over Jolly didn't really make that much of a difference in this game. Uh, U-turn, Icicle Crash, just pretty free moves. Earthquake hits the uh, Slow King, Galar Slow King, and Superpower nukes the uh, Registeel and Flare Blitz. I wouldn't want over Superpower because I don't want to take that recoil. Um, next Pokemon is Golurk. This is a fun set. This is my lead, 100%. <laughs> a little bit of weird EVs. So, again, Nido King is such a big threat. It could lead with a turn one and be a nuisance. So, this lives any Nido King hit. As far as I can imagine, because uh, I think Ice Punch and Ice Beam are the strongest moves it can go for, unless it's Blizzard, that, that that would just be crazy. But yeah, no, Golur lives an Ice Punch, if it's Max Attack Adamant Life Orb, or Modest Max Special Attack Ice Beam. Um, and obviously I would come on Return with Earthquake. Um, Colber Berry allows me to live like a Spectral Life Orb Hydreigon. Um, Dark Pulse, if that's gonna be the lead. Close Combat, depending on the HP investment, has a chance to kill. It's like a if it's like a little bit of HP and like Scarf to add speed the uh, Darmanitan or something, then it's close combat has like a pretty good chance to kill. If it's a bulkier spread, then I probably don't kill. But if I get a really weak and that's great anyway. And worst case, I can also just go into my uh, Finny. Um, really depends on the circumstance there, but it's nice to be able to have the Cold Berry and live hits. Um, there's another Miancho knockoff. I probably live it even without the Cold Berry anyway, but just nice to have that. Uh, and security there. Um, if Registeel is the, the lead to get rocks up, rocks are definitely annoying against Storm and uh, Blacephalon, but I could just sub. And then if I sub on this, he has a really hard time of like either breaking the sub or he's gonna have to sack something. So Earthquake, Poltergeist hits like the Torn. Um, close Combat hits the Hydreigon is the main culprit there. But yeah, Earthquake plus Poltergeist hits the team 
really hard otherwise. Close combat also hits the dunge bars. Um, next Pokemon is Finny. Um, mixed defensive allows me to live two poison jabs from the Mian Show. I don't want to like lose a Mian Show, even if I don't think it's really going to come. Um, and also lives a Stealth Rock plus Hurricane plus Sludge Wave from the uh, Tornadus. Um, Kind of niche, and it's not like Skull's doing a lot of damage anyway, but I could live a couple special hits if I really had to with this. Um, Calm Mind, it, it's on there. Um, I had knockoff to like do damage to the Slow King. I really don't do much to the Slow King. I really got to kill it before like this can set up. Um, and I'm not even really making this Finny necessarily to set up. It just has the option if I felt like it made sense to in the game. But I also live any Nido King hit and do decent damage. Uh, yeah, this isn't really a setup sweeper. Um, it just has Calm Mind if I really can get it off. Draining Kiss, nice for the High Dragon. Moonblast would kill. Uh, Draining Kiss wouldn't kill. So like if it's like a weakness policy predicting me to be Draining Kiss, that could be annoying. But I kind of doubt something like that would come. Um, yeah, there's a general defensive pivot in this game. And another defensive pivot, uh, but also can be uh, a little bit of a cool set, is uh, Weakness Policy Aegislash. Coming in clutch for the uh, first game this week. Uh, Shadow Claw, Shadow Sneak, Close Combat, King Shield. Um, a lot of things can pop the Weakness Policy, and just, I have really nice bulk, so I can live any hit. Um, and most importantly, this lives an Adamant Earthquake from Nido King after Rocks. Um, which is clutch, because not a whole lot of Mons, again, on my team really take on physical Nido King, so... This will take an Earthquake 100%. Um, it takes a Timid Earth Power um, from Nido King and usually lives a Modest Earth Power if no Rocks are up. If Rocks are up and Nido King is Modest Earth Power, then this Aegislash might be uh, a little bit bait. But I really want to make sure I can cover my bases with Physical. If it's a special base Nido King, I have more answers for it. So like that's a little bit more manageable. And Sucker Punch isn't doing as much. So... Um, Shadow Call plus Shadow Sneak Close Combat, like that kills, or like Twick Heroes, like if I get plus two, I also like uh, Tornadus for knockoff, Mianchao would knockoff, I live a uh, Dark Pulse from the uh, Hydreigon long they don't get flinched, and I would kill a Close Combat there. Torn and the uh, Mianchao would Shadow Claw plus Shadow Sneak would kill. Um, really the only mods that don't get either killed by two Shadow Claws or a Shadow Claw plus Shadow Sneak or Close Combats is the Arcanine. One, because it could have Intimidate, that would be pretty annoying. Um, Shadow Claw does have a chance to crit, so that's like a consideration there. I could have gone with um, Rocks, or what's a Head Smash over King Shield, but I like King Shield just to have a little bit more defensive versatility. Um, so yeah, that's my team. A little bit of a longer team builder, but this is a pretty important game, and it's a very annoying team to build, so I was making sure I have my covers, bases, and know how I'm gonna approach this game. But uh, yeah, let's get right into the game. All right, here we are for the game. Um, no Nido King is kind of amazing. No Registeel is also nice. There's no rocks. It's a weird. It's definitely weird. Like, what does he lead with? I am not. I mean, I don't have to lead with Golurk. Golurk's just super nice this game. I'm not really threatened out by anything. The only unfortunate thing would be Hydreigon going for Dark Pulse Slinch. But I think in that case, I just uh, go into Finny and just be fine. I am still, like, flabbergasted that there's no Nido King in this matchup. Oh, boy. But, no, I will definitely take this. Jordan. That's good, that is. Okay, I don't know what his real name is. I'm guessing that's his real name. You're a good bait otherwise. All right. Huh. Yeah, Golurk Rex. I, and I think I stay in outside of Hydreigon. Slowbro? You could stay in and scold. Um, I do a lot of damage to you, um, but let's go into Finny. You'd be a man, man, if you set up Call Mind or something. Yeah, this, uh, this lives a Poltergeist pretty easily. It could also be a Ghost Resist Barry or something, um, and Skull would be doing decent damage. 
So let's see. Surf, okay. So that does 21 damage. So I think that's a max roll, uh, no investment. I honestly, I think I just go for a calm mind here. Um, the slow king probably comes out. Oh, not even teleport. Um, no teleport slow, bro. Or maybe worried about me knocking off or something. Yeah, I think, uh... Yeah, I was obviously thinking about making the aggressive double into Golurk. I could honestly still make that play into Golurk. Latios, I was thinking, I was making this call my plan, I just go into my Latios, but Golurk also just seems pretty nice. Sludge Wave. 188 down to 17 damage. Not much of anything. Sludge Wave. Level 50. 17 damage. Not a lot of special attack. No special attack. Go for sub. And we'll see what uh what he's gonna do to deal with this. Tornadus. So our uh, U-turn is not gonna break my sub. Poltergeist could do a lot of damage. Unless if it's like no item. Uh that would be kind of crazy. Let's see, Tornadus. If it's like max HP, I'm doing 65 to 75% about, so. Yeah, that just shows how strong Golurk is. Knockoff. Leftovers, okay. Oh, physically defensive. Okay. Um, I'm not worried about this. Do I just switch out? Or do I just kill this? I probably just kill this. You could go into Hydreigon, I guess. But then I can gauge how much, uh, how much bulk the Hydreigon is. Maybe figure out what his set is. Leftovers, torn. That's interesting. U turn, not worried about it. That did 15 damage. I guess I could see if it's a. Uh... Yeah, that's minus attack. Yeah, I guess you go in a high drag on here, but again, I'll be able to scout uh, how much damage I'm doing. Um. If it's like 20 HP investment like I'm expecting, it's doing like 31 to 40. Um, let's see. Choice Scarf, okay. Good information to know. Yeah, that looks about it. Um, it's whether, how important is this? Um, Cause I can, kill, uh, but I think Finny's probably the safe play. Um, because if I get flinched, that's kind of unfortunate, and, like, Golurk still does super well in this game. I imagine he's probably gonna just U-turn, though. Dark Pulse would be great, though. U-turn comes out. 10 damage. I mean, I'm sure that's a... Uh... Um, Non-intact invested, yeah. Now, I went into my Golurk last time. 
Could go into High Dragon again. Probably the play, but... I don't really see a whole lot I lose. He could go for like an Ice Beam or something, but... Maybe Latios could have been fine there, but... Let's see, Shadow Ball? Okay, I should do decent damage. Not kill. Um, Golurk. Uh, Slow King. Yeah, Poltergeist Rex. So, I'm going to go for the Poltergeist here. If Hydreigon comes out, it's doing another, like, 40% to it. And it probably goes for a... U-turn actually wouldn't kill. I mean, you'd probably go for a Dark Pulse, maybe. Tornadus. I don't think I kill. I think it's physically defensive. Like 70-ish percent. Yeah, so I just missed out on a kill there. Um... I died when knockoff, right? It's no attack invested. It does 39 damage min. Um, I probably don't want to go into a, my Aegis Slash yet. Um, could also go into my Latios. Latios to Torn. Knockoff's actually doing pretty decent damage. Um, oh, man, I like I like Golurk still in this game. Mm. Let's. Uh, huh. Yeah, I will sack this off. Go for close combat in case he U-turns. Okay, so Golurk is down. Um, he's got a lot of damage, or like a lot of things about his team, so I'm like pretty okay with this exchange. Golurk could have done a little bit more, but it's not the end of the world. Leftovers torn. Um, uh, does U turn even kill? Darmanitan to torn. It's like physically defensive too. Um, I think I go into it anyway and just do turn. Um, because I imagine you want to save this and then I can get pretty decent momentum. I do have to figure out a way to uh, get more damage on that Arcanine. Or get damage on the Arcanine and then my uh, my Aegis Slash looks pretty nice. Uh, we just gonna sack this off? That's not gonna kill. Oh, it kills. Okay, sure. Darn putting in the work. <laughs> Broken. Um, so, I guess trading my uh, Golurk for the Torn kinda seems a little bit better in that regard. He knows I'm scarfed, but I um, don't think I really care about that. Um, I'll go into my Latios. Um, he has to be worried that I'm scarfed, so I don't think he go high drag on here. Especially because uh, Misty Train is up. I guess you could go uh, Slow Bro here. Or uh, Slow King. Slow Bro is an option, I just get a Toxic on it. Doesn't have a great switch into this. High drag on is super risky. Unless you go high drag on here and double out. That's probably the best play, because you can scout if I'm Scarfed or not. Um, I wouldn't live Scarf Draco with Latios, especially because I'm not HP invested. Yeah, definitely not. Maybe a Dark Pulse. Mianxiao? Hmm. I'm 
I'm gonna go for a Draco. Maybe a Salt Vest? It's Scarf, okay. It's a lot of damage. Oh, it's a crit, okay. Yeah, I imagine it's just Jolly. Maybe pretty can we go for a Psy Shock? This is Pat. I like the name. Zalt fest. Like, yeah, just standard assault vest. Um, I take hits. I can recover up here. Oh no, that's not assault vest. Is it? Special defensive. It did like 40%. So, huh. That's kind of a weird spread. It's not a solve fest, but special defensive. Special defensive slow king, maybe with uh, the ghost berry. Decent damage for sure. Um, what do I go into this? Um, I guess I just continuously recover up here. Shadow Ball is doing like 40% physical defensive, maybe. I guess I should uh, figure out exactly how much he's doing. Considering making a switch out, I guess. Okay. What are you going into? Arcanine? Oh, I am like 100% okay with this. I just go for a Toxic. Yeah, and hopefully I can wear this down. And then I just continuously recover up. Yeah, I feel like you just stay in there with the Slow King. Maybe get a Sludge Bomb Poison and then Shadow Ball's annoying. I'm not doing a lot of damage at minus two special attack though. Crunch. 127. Oh, that's a lot of damage. It's like 101. It's like adamant max attack. Adamant max attack Arcanine. Okay, so my win condition is uh, getting my uh, Aegis Slash in and getting a weakness policy, and then I think I win. Um, this gets wild charge, right? Arcanine. Yeah, I got the wild charge. Um, probably risky to go for it. Um, I could recover here. I think I live one more crunch. Oh, extreme speed. Okay. Could also be expert build, I suppose. So my Latios is dead. Tan, Earthquake Rex, um, Lacephalon, Shadow Ball. I don't know how much damage or like how much bulk he has. Um, this is also a pretty safe play. Yeah, I guess we'll just do that. Mm. 
I could go for Calm Mind tier. Whatever, let's go for it. Slow King is coming out. So it's not as, I don't think it's Assault Vest, but like a lot of special defense. It's also not a lot of uh, special attack. So what's a plus two Sludge Bomb doing to me? 20 to 25%? I'm fine with that exchange. Yeah, let's gauge gauge how much damage he's doing for sure. So I don't think it's special attack invested Slow King. Sludge Wave. 177 down to 129. 48 damage. Yeah, not a lot of special attack investment. Um, I'm going to go for Calm Mind again. Go for scalds. Decent damage. Not doing a whole lot to me in return. I think I probably draining kiss here and then go for a scold. It's borderline in range of a draining kiss plus gold killing. I mean, this Pokemon is nice to take on Mianchao plus I Dragon. I like the condition of getting my, uh, my Aegis Slash in, though. Oh, yeah, that's probably not killing. But he's not doing a whole lot of damage back in return. I could just probably Draining Kiss again. And then go for a Scold. Arcanine would be a crazy switch. It's definitely a switch he could make, though. That'd be... More power to you if you make that plan to Arcanine. Okay. for a scald and kill. Assumingly. You really don't have a switch in otherwise. Oh, what's he gonna what's the play now? Oh, okay. Well Arcanine wins. Or <laughs> Aegislash wins. Yeah, that was risky. Um What's his best way to kill this? Mian Shao, Choice Guard. I mean, does this Pokemon just win? I think Mian Shao kills. Oh, Slowbro comes out. Draining Kiss. Holy crap, that is a lot of damage. Yeah, it's like physically defensive or something. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, I think Finny might win this. Man, that Arcanine play was so, so aggressive, it wasn't necessary. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, it looks like I have a 4-0 uh, win here on top of Finny, which I really needed.
I, I would, I definitely needed this. Uh, yeah, it wasn't, it, it makes it a lot easier going forward. My differential wasn't great, so now this brings it to a, at least a somewhat respectable differential for the record. Yeah, I don't really see how I uh, don't win this game with Finney at this point. Yeah, crit poison jab from Mian Shao, which I'm guessing he doesn't have into like, um, yeah, I don't even know what the Hydra gun would have. Yeah, so it looks like uh, these are all going to bye bye. And it looks like Finney is the, uh, the star of the game. MVP. Yeah, no, I love Top If Any. So, yeah, what is this going to do? Get Regenerator, which is great, but I am at plus two special defense. That is something to note. A crit? Crit might do it. Oh, well, a crit did it. <laughs> That's funny. Sinny, don't let me down. Slow King, that's hilarious. Um, non assault vest, level 50. Yeah, draining kiss isn't gonna kill, but I might put it out of range. I guess Mancha doesn't have poison jab or something. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> that was not the right play either. Oh no, okay. So Finney's Finney's back in the uh, Finney's back in the driver's seat now. Okay. Alright, I think we're good. <laughs> that was scary. I called that too. Man, I got a little little ahead of myself there. Alright, come on. Dark pulse slinches. Flash cannon's gonna do nothing. Yeah, I did not expect the uh, Paul Mine to be doing this much this game. But Finney, Finney is such a threat. I love top of Finney. And like, it, it, it's weird. It, uh, I usually like my water type to have recover, like pretty reliable recovery. Um, and you can't even really run rest that reliably with Finney because of terrain, but it's just so bulky. Um, the, what's it called? HP stat isn't great, but its defenses are really high. So you recover a decent amount of HP when Draining Kiss. Um, and Draining Kiss was just such a nice benefit in uh, Sword and Shield. So yeah, what, Finny got four, five kills this game? Definitely, definitely some, yeah, I don't know how I got, how it did as well as it did, but I'll take it. Uh, uh, I got poisoned. Um, so now we are four and three with, I think one or two differential positive. So that's definitely good. Um, probably six wins is probably a safe point to make playoffs. So I probably want to win two of the last three games to uh, make sure. But um, yeah, good game to uh, the Arkansas uh, Pig Nighters uh, 3D Arcade. Make sure you go check out his channel for four. I think he's getting back in the draft league after being out for a while so uh hopefully this doesn't discourage him but make sure you go check out his stuff for sure um but yeah until next time later guys